this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the raspberry stitch. Okay, so I chained total of 41 chains, and I'm just trying to figure out while I was going. Okay, so I am going to, uh, I did two rows of the, the double crochet. So uh, this is just going to be a sample. I'm making a dishcloth. You can make anything with this stitch. And I was planning to make a blanket but unfortunately I have so many whips going on so I didn't want to start another big item <laughs> I need to finish two so I can start a big project okay so I have two four uh, five here this is going to be the border and uh, the yarn that I'm using is a uh, burnout uh, handicrafters or it's 100% cotton it's a four weight and this is a four millimeter crochet hook Okay, so I did two, four, five, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two. I'm just going right at it so we can start crocheting this stitch. It is pretty. I did two chain, and I'm doing another double crochet. So I create a V. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip two on the third. I'm going to make total of uh, eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is one strawberry, and this is going to be creating a strawberry on top. So this is how it looks like, five, eight. Okay, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make another V. Skip two on the third, I'm going to make a V, double crochet, two chain, double crochet. Chain two, skip two on the third, make again, eight, double crochet. I didn't count, so I hope I will have enough room here. Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Chain two, skip two on the third, make a double crochet and then chain two make another double crochet okay so I'm just gonna count one two three four five six seven perfect I didn't <laughs> it did fit great so I'm gonna do the border chain two skip two one two on the third you know what I didn't even count perfectly because I kept on changing the uh, raspberries around three but this worked out perfect I am so happy so if I make a blanket I will use this method right here I don't know how many multiples you can go from now but if I finish this uh, sample maybe I will figure out and let you know but at this point I'm just following <laughs> as I go okay because I have a tiny picture and it's really hard to see two three or you can chain uh, depends if you want to chain one at uh, three you can chain three if you want to chain but I think three is better so these are the borders these five stitches are going to be the border when you look at the dish cloth because cotton shrinks right when you use it I don't know if you watch one of my uh, tutorials. I did a huge, it was huge. Two years ago, I made that. And now it's the, the, I made a mat to put my dishes when I wash them by hand. Now it shrinked. It's like half size. Because <laughs> I wash it with my whites. It's a white color. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. Just need to pull my yarn and I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two and I'm going to jump right here and I'm going to crochet a total of 10 double crochets in that two chain or we could chain three if you want. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can pull your double crochets to have more room. So we're, we are creating the raspberry. So now we're going to do front post. So I'm not going to do anything on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a front post double crochets. But I'm going to skip the first one and the last one. So we are uh, decreasing the raspberry. So it's all front post. Just like this. Okay, so I did my last front post. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make ten, ten double crochets. And then repeat what we did on this one. So we're just repeating. It's a um, front post. We skip the first and we skip the last. This is a yarn eater. That's all I can say. Because <laughs> you need lots of yarn. Especially if you're going to crochet something uh, big. Okay, so I did the I skipped the first and the last. If you have yarn in your stash, I would highly recommend you to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna let you crochet. So 10 double crochets here, chain two, and then you just do your five, and then when you turn your work, you do this is the border, right? So it's always five. And I when we come back, I will show you how to do the wrong side of the work. So this is going to be the front side of the work and the other side. So it's gonna give you two different uh uh, looks when you finish the project and I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'll be right back when we start on top of this uh, raspberry. I did my five crochet, I did my two chain and I'm going to do uh, okay we did front post at the front so now we're going to do back post. So I'm not skipping anything. We do we start our increases when our when we're on the fourth row so there's plenty of time to do our increase. So I'm just gonna do back post double crochet just like this total of 10 back posts we're creating the strawberries it gives that nice I'm using a big uh, four way yarn so you can see it better but I would prefer to crochet this with a thinner yarn a three or maybe a two weight so it gives that elegant look. Oops. So I just do my regular 10 back post, just like this. Grab it from here. Gives you that 3D look. Gives you a nice text texture. Okay, so I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do again back post, but again I'm going I'm not going to do the back post on the first and the last. So we are decreasing to give that uh, uh, pointy look every row, the raspberry, just like this. One, two, three, and four, and I chain two. And I do the same back post on the 10 double crochet. So this is all to it. I will let you crochet and I will meet you back to start the new row on the front side of the work. And then we'll go from there. It's really fun to crochet. Okay, 
this is how it looks like. Oh my goodness, this is really fun and exciting to work with. Okay, so if you plan to make a baby blanket, you can just do the multiplications between, I believe, two here, the third, two, just add them, and then add more uh, strawberries, and then you can have the length you want. So this is about uh, eight inches. Well, not an eight. I believe it's bigger than that. Well, cotton yarn does shrink, so it's 12, actually. Then you can do your baby blanket or a scarf or anything you want. Okay, so I did my border. I did five. Double crochet. I did my chain. So I'm going to do my front post. On the front, I do my front post. And on the back, we do our back post. So this row is all about doing front post. And then in between, we do two chain. And then when you come here, you do, you you do you do your ink you do your decrease. So I'm just gonna let you crochet. I know, it's uh, I don't want the video to be too long, but I just want to show you how it's done, short and neat, and you won't get bored. <laughs> ah, I watched some tutorials. Oh my goodness, it's about uh, it's a very short uh, sample, and then they do it for an hour. And I don't want to talk too much because I don't want you guys to get bored. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do as fast as I can. So this is all to it. I, you do your front post 10 and then two chain and then you skip one and then you do two in the middle and then you skip the oops. Oops, sorry. I'll go. I went up. Sorry about that. <laughs> And then I chain two, and then I do my ten posts, front posts, just like this. So I will meet you at the other end, and then we're going to start new strawberries on top of these little uh, hills that we are creating. This is how it looks like on the back side. Now we're going to do our decrease. So what are we going to do is we're going to start what we did here. Remember, we did our decrease, so we're going to do the same on these. And then we're going to create new strawberries on these top hill tops that we have decreased. Okay, so again, always two chain. And then uh, the back is a uh, back post that we crochet. So I'm going to skip one and then make back posts. So we're going to make eight uh, back posts. Just like this, my yarn. <laughs> Oh, I had this huge, huge ball. I think they're about uh, half a pound. Sorry. Here we are. And I only have this left. Oops, I'm all over the place. I only have uh, this left. And, you know, when I'm pulling from the inside, it's really hard to pull it out. And I don't think they make these color anymore. Because this was the old one I bought years ago from Walmart or... Zellers used to be open. Okay, just like this. So back post, and uh, it's some. It's really hard to work with 100% cotton yarn because it's. Uh, I don't know. I feel it's dry. <laughs> I know it's a word, not wrong word to explain. So I'm skipping the last one and here we're going to make a V to make a V just gonna go between double crochet two chain yeah I know I don't want it to, even two chains gets bigger so I'm just gonna do two chain I don't want to make it more than two yeah it looks like this is in the top of the so what I'll do is I want it in the middle of the, those two. So I'll just go between. I didn't like it because it looks like it was on top of the one double crochet. Now this way, it looks like it's in between. So chain two. And this is all I do. I skip this one and I make back posts. So I'm going to let you crochet all the way. And then you skip the last one. You do two chain and you do a 
V on top of here. And then lots of crocheting involved. And I'll meet you at the other end, at the right side of the work. Oh my goodness. Ta-da! And this is the front of the work. Oh my goodness. The more I crochet, the gets excited. I get excited. <laughs> okay, so we're going to create. What we're going to do is we're going to create 10 double crochets on top of these. Remember how we did it? So it's just a repeat. We just move them around like a zigzag on top of this. And then this is going to be pointy like this. And then this is all to it. So on the front, we do front post. And on the back, we do back post. So we skip the first. And then we do front post on all of the double crochet. And then when I come to the V, and always two chain between. And when I come to the V, I make total of uh, uh, 10 double crochets. Just like this. This stitch has been around for over two, three years now. And then uh, it started with uh, the strawberry sleeve sweater, those huge sweaters. And then people like Turkish uh, ladies were creating these lovely shawls, pillows, afghans out of the stitch. So I said to myself, I want to go and start this lovely stitch. I'm sorry, I'm trying to crochet as fast as I can because there's lots of the double crochets. So we do two, four, six, eight, nine, ten double crochets in the middle. It's just regular double crochets, nothing uh, hard to. So this is all to it. So I'm going to do my front post, skip the first one and skip the last one. So when we when you do the decrease, it gets gives you that pointy look. And then you will notice that your... Uh, it will look like a 3D, and this is the back. Oh my goodness, the back is look is wonderful as well. You can make bags out of this. You can make anything. And then I'm going to show you. I'll come back and show you from the wrong side. Lots of uh, double crochets are involved. So skip this one, skip this one, make front post, chain two, double, ten double crochets in the middle. So we're just repeating what we did on the on the beginning here. That's all to it. So I'll meet you at the other side, on the wrong side of the stitch, the dishcloth. Okay, so this is the back of the work. I started my new row, and this is how it looks like. So on the back of the row, we do our uh, back post. And it's just to repeat one after another. So I did my five um, double crochets, two chain. Skip the first one and skip the last one. So that's how we do our decrease. And then make, make a crochet, double crochets. Uh, back post double crochets, just like this. And the last one. And then, because I'm taping, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I did my four. Skip the last one, chain two. And then make ten back post double crochets. Okay, and this is row is just like this. So it's repeat after another. And this is how it looks like from the back. And this is how it looks like from the front. So I'm going to crochet a couple of rows. This is all to it. Nothing fancy, nothing different. It's a very simple. And please, please, trust me, it's very easy. And it's really fun to crochet, as you can see. So I will come back to show you when we start our next uh, raspberries. So what we did is we create raspberries here. So we, we were doing the half raspberry here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start making raspberries on top of this raspberry here on top. So I will come back to show you how we started at the beginning. And then you go 
back and forth and you just crochet the raspberry like this raspberries and I'll be right back this is how it looks like from the back side oops sorry and uh, I'm going to show you how to do the decrease and then create a new strawberry on top of a new strawberry that we finished doesn't this look nice it's so nice oh my goodness I wonder who created the stitch uh, I hope there's not a written pattern because <laughs> I am I do not want to do any written patterns so I did my two chain double crochet two chain and then double crochet two chain okay so I am going to do back post again and then we're going to do our decrease. Hmm. Just like this. So this row is just like this. Nothing fancy. Lots of uh, back posts. Skip the first one. So uh, it was there were 10 double crochets. Now we're going to decrease it to 8. We skip the first one and then we skip the last one. And the last one, just like this. Just want to let you know it's snowing here in Edmonton. Oh my goodness, it's minus 11. And I jump here in the middle, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. This is how we're going to create our uh, strawberries. And then on the one we come back, I will show you how it looks like. Ta-da! Doesn't this look lovely? Oh my goodness. So, just to show you, just try to focus a little bit closer. Okay, so here we're going to do our 10 double crochets and we're doing our front post. Don't forget, always on the front, do your front post. On the back you do your back post and here we do our decrease you skip the one and then you skip the last one and you make your front post you do your increase it's just a repeat what we did and this goes on and on and on but it is really really fun to work with so I would highly recommend this stitch ASAP you can make baby blankets uh, I was thinking of making a card again and then showing it to you but um it uses up lots of yarn so that's another thing if you have lots of yarn I would highly recommend you to work it with it but if you don't work with another uh, stitch so uh, I tried to make it as short as I can and I hope you like this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe share it with your family and friends I really would appreciate it I'm almost hitting 24,000 yay <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy crocheting. Stay safe. Stay home. Take care.